Hey everybody, Nerkoids here with a new product review of something I just purchased. Um, took a little while for me to get this. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. I'm filming my wall just to have a dramatic reveal. It's a new bass guitar. It's this baby. Yes, it's, uh, well, it's an old style 50s P bass or a Telecaster bass. You decide. This is a Harley Benton VT Series PB50 in Fiesta Red, left-handed of course, and this thing pretty much came out like this, aside from the plastic, which you can still see remnants there, uh, came out like this uh, from the box and uh, with a black pickguard, which actually disappointed me a little bit because if you go on the website, it's with a white pickguard. However, Toman were kind enough to include a white pick guard, so if you're into black or if you're into white, you get a good choice. So thank you, Toman. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's light. The body is made of basswood. It's in Fiesta Red. The fit and finish is absolutely perfect. It's uh, with a polyurethane coating. The neck is a two-piece maple with a fretboard and the neck in hard rock Canadian uh, Hold on here. There we go. And do actually a fairly decent job of trying to match them up. And uh, oddly enough, uh, the thing that surprised me about the neck is its finish. It's actually using some kind of true oil finish to it, uh, or teak oil or whatever it is. It's uh, actually quite nice. It's not exactly uh, completely white maple wood, so it has a little bit of natural tint to it, which is nice. Um, as you can see, the fit and finish is perfect. It's got these El Cheapo Japanese tuners, uh, Japanese Chinese tuners, sorry. Uh, although they turn very well, they work very well. I'm not a fan of these notches, so I'm probably going to change, uh, change the machine heads on this. One concern that I had about this bass was what kind of string tree it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the cheap pot metal kind, but no, this is steel and uh, yep it doesn't have the grooves underneath like the El Cheapo one so that uh, that makes me happy even the front of the uh, of the headstock here it's, uh, it's using an oil finish and all that uh, the frets are absolutely great no sharp ends uh, the sh frets themselves are probably uh, just slightly tarnished a little bit but I mean uh, playability out of the box is uh, pretty good considering that this probably came from China or Vietnam and then to Germany and then to Germany to here in Montreal Canada in December uh, it's actually a good sign that uh, it's pretty it's pretty stable I tried out the pots I have already plugged in the base I'm gonna do a video demo uh, at another time that's gonna be coming soon I checked out the travel. These feel really good, and uh, they have both a nice taper for both the volume and the tone pot. They have a nice taper. Um, they got one of these pretty standard uh, looking bridges, uh, the set screws, and uh, and uh, what do you call these? The saddles. Um, they seem to be pretty good quality. Um, there had been some issues about some Fiesta Red bases. Uh, having trouble with uh, aligning over uh, over the pickup. This one actually is not too bad. Uh, it's probably within spec. I mean, you, you know, this is a, basically a $137 Canadian base. So, you know, something's got to give. But uh, it sounds great. It sounds thunderous. I mean, I still have the stock uh, round wound strings, which are... Deodario's, by the way, you know that by the color of the uh, of the ends here. I'm gonna. I ordered some GHS Precision flat wounds to go with this. I can't wait to string them up and do you guys a demo. But yeah, I have to say um, this bass balances really well. Uh, it's very nicely contoured. Got a nice belly cut and everything. Um, gorgeous color. That was another thing that I was worried about, uh, that 
uh, because on the website, if you go on Toman's website, whether you take the left-handed or the right-handed version of the space, uh, the Fiesta Red sort of looks more like Dakota Red, but no, nope, in person and in better lighting than what I'm using here, uh, it's definitely it's definitely Fiesta Red. It's going to look better, actually, with the white pick guard, I think. Yeah. Or, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pick guard and... Uh, Spray paint it, you know, finish it in uh, in an off-white like ivory. And uh, this, either I'll keep it like this, or I might actually make some homemade uh, tortoise shell uh, that's going to go well with Fiesta Red anyway. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this first view, first look at the Harley Benton PB50 in Fiesta Red. Uh, demonstration video will be coming up with the sound test. Thanks for watching. Of course... Please leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. Bye for now. Oh, and uh, happy holidays.